Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at the flowchart based modules in Campfire, systems and relationships. That's right, we're going to teach you how to make relationships. In like a government structure, I guess. These two modules handle pretty similarly on the surface. Both contain flowcharts that allow you to visually represent the way different things are connected in your story. Let's jump in. First, relationships. This module requires that you already have characters made. If you don't already have characters, I'll leave a link in the description to our tutorial on character creation. Once you have a few characters created, you can add them to the canvas with this plus button in the lower right corner. In this module, it will bring in characters to move around and connect. Select which ones you want to include in your flowchart, then confirm your selection. The characters you choose will appear here on the canvas, where you can resize and connect them with lines by dragging from one node on the edge of a card to another node on a different card. You can edit how this line looks by right-clicking on it to change the style, or left-click on it to delete the line entirely. If you want to adjust the default styles or access other settings, you can find those in your module and account settings. If you want your relationships to branch off, drag from the midpoint of any line. This is super helpful for creating those detailed family trees you might see sometimes in Campfire Explorer. Finally, open the color key and hit Manage Colors to change the colors of your lines. Recolor, rename, and rearrange the colors in this key to match whatever you need to organize the relationships in your story. And that's it for relationships. Now onto the systems module. It works pretty much the same way, except instead of just characters, you have access to link together just about any kind of element. That includes your characters, but also encyclopedia entries, locations, species, and more. Add and manage them the same way as the relationships module to visualize systems of government, economies, religious organizations, and whatever else you can imagine. The biggest difference with systems is that the flowchart is optional. You can change the setting in the bottom left settings, or you can delete it from your pages list in the bottom right. This is handy if you want to describe a system, but you don't necessarily need to map out the organizational structure. For example, this project, which uses systems as a place to talk about some of the world's biggest companies. The rest of the systems module works just like characters or locations for the most part. For more information about basic panel editing and customization, you can check out the other tutorials, which I'll also link in the description. And there you have it, the two flowchart modules. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment or reach out to us on social media. Thanks for watching.